this week on Right Turn Garage, we have a dilemma. Yeah, but that ain't the dilemma because that's, that's my brother's car. So <laughs> let's just say you thought about buying, I don't know, like a Mini Cooper. That's what it is. This is what you do to replace the clutch. Yeah. Now we'll give Mini Cooper this. It does make everything, everything accessible if you rip apart the whole front end. I mean, it's all there. You could probably do a motor swap like in five minutes after however long all this took. And I'm betting it was a while. Anyway, um, on to other things. So I told you that I needed to get like, I was going to put a brake pad thing on our pedal from our 66. Check that out, dude. I got that on eBay from a company named Goodspeed. Dude, I love it. Cause like I can actually rock it and it means something. We got four wheel disc brakes. Um, I also bent all of the lines, all of the metal lines. I made my own pull down tab to hold the brake. I mean, all of this stuff just worked amazing. I used original hold downs and then I just added to them a little bit. I used uh, the 94 rubber line and I mean I just ran it right in the factory spots and looky there I ran all of that all of it the way it should be ran so I am more than happy with this and believe it or not I had like three leaks and all of them was because of me I did not tighten the lines and I think yep, that one's a little wet so I probably forgot to even tighten that one all the way, which we'll take care of here in a second. But that's not our issue tonight. Our issue tonight is we have good closing doors, right? I mean, they close beautifully. They fit to the car. They're original. So I am not replacing them. I'll show you the issue. The issue is I found this by accident. Yeah bottom of the door she's uh, got a little bit of weight reduction just a lot and I am NOT going to paint the car with the doors like that that's that's not smart so uh, we're gonna roll up the window and we're gonna start working on this we're just gonna you know take this back to like some sort of weldable metal and then we're going to weld right to it. We're just going to weld a flat piece of metal all the way there. We're going to touch up this spot here on the corner if we can. You know, we're going to we're going to bedazzle the old girl. We're going to make her look pretty. But you know, it's kind of you just can't leave that. That's not good or at all. That's what I'm getting at. So. I think the passenger side turned out to be closed and I can't reach that because I'm 5'7 on a good day. We'll check it also. And also we have another spot right there on the, darn it, can you see it right there? If you could see it, it's on the inside what would normally be the door panel, but it's metal at the bottom. So we're gonna make little patches for that as well. Those are gonna be cut to fit, like they're gonna fit in there snugly and no lumpage. So that's gonna take like a little bit more time, not much. And we're gonna do that with tape. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. But this right here, the whole reason why we're saving this is because honestly, this is a budget build. And uh, the door itself, is great uh, the actual skin's good it's the inside that went bad it just that it's usually the exact opposite is all what i'm saying that never really happens that much it's so weird anyway so that's what we're going to be doing on this episode but i really want to take the time out to show you guys not only did we end up with four wheel disc brakes 
but I mean everything remember how I told you you might have to massage the front of that plenty of room you don't have to massage anything you don't have to grind anything you don't have to do any kind of extra work except for that plate on the firewall from the 94 or make your own template I did that and I mean as you can see it all fit and fit beautifully uh, the pedal as you guys kind of saw in the last video was a little bit more than a lot of work it was a ridiculous amount of work I would recommend this nickel copper line if that's what it's called to anyone it's easy to work with and uh, it bent into spots so well like I followed the factory brake lines really easily with it um, you're got to plan your brake lines accordingly so you don't have to like splice and all this all these are solid brake lines like one whole piece from there all the way up front one whole piece you get what I'm saying so I've got them into the factory holders in the frame or the underneath section here I've got them in the factory positions that they would have been uh, up on the firewall I have them in the factory places where the clips are so I'm just saying you're gonna to have to get your measurements somewhat close like yeah really close so you don't have all these kinks and chinks and all this stuff and then I just ran it down through here and I ran longer than what I needed so I could cut it and actually do the line right here at where I needed it at the rubber line but anyway I know I just really I'm proud of it all the brakes work by the way they're all bled it can't move unless you push it but it stops on a dime it's amazing so we're going to measure this out and we're just going to start taking it to fab town we're going to see how if well we're going to save these doors period i don't care what it takes so give me a few minutes and hopefully we come up with something so we got our first pattern you may notice or maybe you can't this side is more narrow than this side the reason why we did that is because of the rust and yes i'm wearing rocking glasses so here's my theory since this has got a lot bigger hole than this back here giggity we're gonna slide that right into here and see that will weld right to that as soon as we get this cleaned up but there's some of these places that do not have a place to weld so we may have to weld this further up on this actual lip here or make our make a bend in it right in here somewhere to make up for this extra but here's the thing nobody's going to see this except for you guys and like uh well me that's it this does not have to be perfect spend your time accordingly this is not going to be a show car or else i'd be buying brand new doors so this is just to make the door more firm and so i don't feel bad about trying to send send it you know what i mean like i don't want to send some jalopy down the road i i've always wanted to make this car solid by fixing the doors and making that solid fixing the rust because i'm actually going to treat it too we're going to grind down the metal we're going to use the edge primer weld through primer this is good stuff we're going to use that to prevent any future rust and then we're going to weld it so in my mind that's a correct procedure for this right wrong or indifferent that's the way we're going to do it and we're going to do the same thing to that little hole up there in the door the actual door panel like right there -ish. except for i'll show you we're going to do the tape trick I, I can't remember if i've shown you guys that or not this i'm not real happy about because i don't i have an idea and it's not great did somebody say what i think they did seam seal yeah i actually think that's what we're going to do with that we're going to brush treat this 
gosh, that's just terrible. But we're gonna rush treat it first and let that set up. And then we're actually gonna smear some seam sealer in there and we're gonna call it good. Again, not a show car, guys. This is just a, I'm using these doors. They got one last two raw in them and uh, that's gonna be it for this one. So now I'm gonna take this cardboard, you know, this CAD template over to our sheet metal, trace it out and cut it with our, uh, if you guys don't have one of these, let me just tell you, these metal shears from the Harbonese Freight, these guys, whoo, I, I can't remember if they got more than one. Get the one that'll cut 16 gauge because it is an absolute monster. It's a beast. It will, it'll cut through darn near, well, it'll cut through 18 gauge like nothing. I'll tell you that. I mean, it just rips right through it. Not even hesitant. They're worth it. Anyway, I'm gonna get the Kraken and hopefully we can end this before midnight. That would be great. I am going to say this turned out extremely budget. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. So I'm gonna show you a before and after this atrocious mess. Now remember, this is what we're sealing. This guy right here with the hole there. Yep, that's before. This is with the plate welded on. Now that right there didn't turn out too bad. A lot of grinding. Now I end up like all the way up here with pinholes after I started welding and punching through. So I'll have to sand that down and paint that now, but that's okay. It was going to get painted anyway. And I want to show you right here. See all this? We're not going to weld that because shoo, we have been burning holes through stuff like you would not believe. Or if you've done metal work, you would believe it because, uh, yeah, the doors are thin. The metal was thin factory. Anyway, we're going to get some seam sealer. Hopefully, I think I have like two things of it and a caulking gun and our finger and just go. And we're going to make that all disappear. So if you never use seam sealer, it's actually a pretty wonderful invention. Um, well... I don't know if you guys can really see that or not, but I seam sealed these in. Yeah, you know what? It looks okay-ish. It's rough if you don't put a finish on it. Like, smooth it out real, real good. Um, but I'm putting a truck mat in. And this is... Did I say it? Budget project, and I don't care. This is just going to be a good, fun car. You know, build it for your purposes. If you're going to make it a show car, make it a show car. As far as I'm concerned, this car staying with us indefinitely, just like the 69 and more than likely the old bullet machine. So, you know, this is just going to be a fun car. I'm saving it from death. So anyway, I'm going to try to find my seam sealer. I put everything away. Now I can't find anything. This is crazy. Anyway, give me a few minutes. You get you need. Uh, you need a caulking gun for it. So get a caulking gun, seam sealer, and then you just kind of All right, so give me a few minutes and I'll show you the afterwards. Hopefully it turns out better than the before, right? Eh? Okay. So I'm gonna show you why we use seam sealer now. Remember all this nice atrocious mess? Now look at it. I know the camera is not doing it justice, I promise you but it actually looks very smooth. And believe me, it's not. You can get this at pretty much any auto parts store. And now we have no cracks, no nothing. And it really does look gooder. Now, once we paint that, you'll like really not be able to tell too much that there seems silver there. So that's the, that's the goal. So again, Guys, if you're going to build this project for car shows, that might work at these little teeny tiny rinky dink ones, you know? They're like where, you know, they get participation trophies and stuff. But 
you know, this one's not. This one's a driver car. That's all this was going to be. It's going to be a good looking driver. And, uh, you know, like I say, it's a budget car. And this is probably how they did them way back before they sold body panels. You know, um, back in the day, you'd have to get two of these cars. One that was a solid body, probably this kind of car. Plain, not Aunt Jane kind of car. Huh? See? Got you, Aunt Jane. So, you'd have to get a six-cylinder car that wasn't anything to save maybe, you know, one of these with a 302 or a fastback or whatever. You know, if you find a coupe cheap, you could salvage the quarters and whatever and save you a real GT or whatever. Same thing with 57 Chevys. You'd find a four-door that had good bones and use those. Um, this was just a little quick, you know, to do. Um, if you, if you're on a, you know, budget and you just don't want to buy doors. I'm not buying doors. I'm just not buying doors. Um, the skins are actually excellent and the underneath is the only bad part. I can't justify buying a door for something like this. This car is exactly what you see. I mean, yeah, it's going to look good in the end result, but overall, it's just going to be a fun, you know, anybody drive it kind of car and have fun. You know what I mean? So, you know, we're taking a lot of a 94 GT to make this car. You know, we're taking a lot of good stuff that already works and working on this car. So, it is what it is. Uh, tell me if you would do that. That's the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to send it that way. Um, what's your thoughts? Would you have done doors on a car like this? I don't know. You know, I'm sure some people are scratching their head like, why did you put four wheel disc brakes on it? Why are you putting a 302 in a fuel injected? Why are you making it all modern and then doing like stuff like that? It's a budget. That's the whole point of this car. It's still going to be solid. So if that answers any. Of course my camera's going to die as I'm sitting here rattling trying to wrap this up. Sorry. Anyway, um, so th that's the way I'm going to do this one. I don't know if you guys would do the same or not. You can poke it down there in the comments if you want to. But this is just me showing you, you know, sometimes you can save a door that maybe does need replaced. But you have a budget. You know, it is what it is. That door's going to be solid now. The other door's pretty darn solid. Uh, we just have a place to replace, like right up in that corner there. So, other than that, oh, huh, let me just one more thing on that. So, you're going to notice, you, one, probably don't have your car on the rack where everything's in the way. Cause let's okay i'll have to show you over here let's just say there was a hole here where this was so thin i ended up doing a shape like this filling in the weld or the hole with weld so yeah you might want to cut out a bigger spot and just make you a whole bigger patch piece and it's actually going to save you time so that's another way to save time rather than just cutting out a piece that fits exactly that just cut you out a bigger piece that's what i'm gonna do on this other side because that little piece there cost me more than the whole underside of that door by like 12 times i'm not kidding you anyway guys and gals thanks for watching i hope this helps you if you got any questions shoot me to shoot me a message and uh thanks for watching it's going to get a heck of a lot better um i don't know if i'll put this one on there we got a little surprise with the uh mullet machine this week she decided that um she was gonna lose spark i don't know so needless to say i'll just throw that in on another video does that sound good because it's uh past midnight and i gotta wake up in like three and a half hours so i'll see you guys later y'all have a great weekend we'll see you next time here on right turn garage tv